Good day, Mr. Bill here. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on warping multi-track drums. So basically when you're warping multi-track drums it's not like warping other samples. You can't just warp um, one channel and then the next channel and so on because you have the overheads and if you listen to the overheads, I'll just play them now. So basically they're just a room sound and they have every other drum within their microphones. So if we warp any of the other channels and we don't touch those channels, they're all going to be out of time with the other channels. And if we warp them channels and none of the other other channels, the same thing will happen. So basically, you have to warp every channel at the same time. Uh, this tune is tuned by Gene Defect. It's at 173 BPM, and it's pretty good, but it's a little bit out of time. So um, I want to warp it all. So the way I'll do that <coughs> is I'll double click on a sample just to open up the sample browser down the bottom. And then I'll hold shift and grab the top channel, and they're already warped. And now if I zoom out in the arrangement here, and I grab any point by just double clicking in this little sample browser down the, uh, this little warp markers down the bottom, I drag it, you can see it drags every channel with it. And that's what we want, because we want to get everything in time with each other. We don't want to just warp one thing. So <clears throat> basically now I just have to go and mess with these warp markers for hours and hours and get it all in time. So I'll just quickly do that. Push that hi hats a bit out. Touch that one. With some styles of music I wouldn't bother doing this but it seems this is kind of a hard rock metal track. It's definitely worth doing it because uh, it's kind of all sounds like that these days. It's all mechanical and tight. <laughs> Just put it on Complex Pro. You want to watch out with some of your warp markers just because it can get a bit messy and sound bit weird if you're trying to keep the drums sounding natural yet still warp them. So that's as far as I'll go for the sake of the tutorial, but yeah, essentially that's that's the way you have to do it if you want to do multi-track drums just to keep everything in time. Um, <clears throat> now I'll just quickly go over hot swapping samples. Hypothetically, let's say that we forgot to warp this snare channel, so we'll turn that off and we'll listen to it now and the snares will sound out of time with the overheads. And you get a bit of phasing sound with the overheads. So you can look at this, you can see that, that snare there is out of time with that snare there, uh, which is exactly why we have to do it all at the same time. So hypothetically, let's just say that we did forget to do this snare channel and you've spent hours warping the whole tune and you're like, oh, well, I don't want to spend hours doing it again. So there is a way to fix that. You double click on the sample, you right click down here on the wave. Oh, actually, we'll, we'll, you have to do it on a one that has warp markers on it already because you want to swap this snare file to be in that channel with the warp markers. So <clears throat> uh, you bounce out these tracks that do have warp markers on them so you have a bounced copy of the file that is tight and already warped and then seems you don't need this file anymore you can swap it with the snare and then bounce the snare out so the way you go about doing that is you open up this kick channel for instance which has all the warp markers on it you right click on the sample file and you go manage sample file and then when it comes up here in the file browser you can click this little uh, spinny icon here and you click that and it brings you to this hot swapping section so now we're able to swap the kick condensed microphone channel with any other uh, channel we want so we press edit and then hot swap to open this hot swap browser and then we'll get the snare channel and we'll just drag it into this here 
So now you can see we have, it still says kick condenser, it believes it's the kick channel but has the warp markers of the snare channel. Uh, sorry, the, the snare channel has the warp markers of the kick channel, so if we go and look at it now, the snare's in time with the overheads, so is everything else, so now if we listen to that. So yeah, that's basically the way you have to go about warping multi-track drums in Ableton. Uh, Pro Tools has a thing like this called Beat Detective, but um, for me it didn't really work for this this particular tune, so I brought it into Ableton to do it, and yeah, it seemed pretty hit and miss, so that's why I chose to do it in Ableton. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, hope you got something out of it. Um, if you want to check out more of my tutorials or get some free music or something, go to mrbillstunes.com. Have a geese. Uh, I just introduced a hardcore Ableton ear section where you can get all my albums for 10 bucks. So um, if you're interested in doing that, go and do that. And yeah, cheers. Have a good one.